Hello and welcome to another BMC Helix Video Solutions video. Today I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot the error 1700. The view definition does not exist on the server. com.bmc dsm case lib colon case. This error happens in BMC business workflows and I'm going to show you how you can mitigate that. So let's get to it. So as you can see, uh, you logged in as an administrator or as someone who's not having the issue and they're able to see the cases correctly and there's nothing wrong with that person. You can see uh, I've opened a ca uh, case here with this uh, HANA admin logged in and everything seems to be fine. But then uh, you get a report from a user who was experiencing this issue. For example, let me show it to you. So I'm here, I'm logged in as the affected user. You can see I'm Dana Jenkins here, I'm logged in. And right now I'm going to open business workflows and we're going to see how the error looks like. So as you can see, the error in 1700, the view definition does not exist on server, case slip, colon cases. Now the error could have a slight variation. For example, if you have a specific uh, line of business that you have designed, uh, let's say that you added the name, just for the sake of the video, you added the name test business. And then that person tries to refresh the, the website, the page for the application. Then you'll see that name as the line of business inside the error. So in any case, the error states the same. There is a problem with the view definition in the server or the user in question does not have the necessary permissions. So the way you can confirm that, you can try um, opening up the F12 network a browser here, the developer options, and you can ask the affected user to just reload the page quick here just to see what we're going to get in return. And you'll notice that there is a rest call that says dollar user dollar. So you can, that's a good start right there because if you click on that rest call and you expand the response uh, tab here, you're going to see all of the groups that that person has access to. So that's a good way to start uh, troubleshooting to see if that person has the necessary permissions there. But then again, <clears throat> here in your left side, you have a red one, a, re a red rest call. And it's in red because it got a different, a bad response, right? It usually it's a 404 response or 500 response. But if I click on it, you're going to see more insight on this error. And you can check here the preview and it says here the view definition does not exist on the server. So the very first thing you have to do, you have to go back to ITSM and you have to compare the permissions that this user, this affected user has against their permissions stated in the ITSM people record. So we're going to do just that. So let me take you. So as an administrator, you have to open the affected user. I've looked up Dana Jenkins, which was our test user. And the very first I need to check is the IS personas tab because that is the, the access restriction permission that business workflows and innovation studio are looking for. Innovation studio personas, right? That's our the way we administer personas on this application. And you can see that the bundle for the line of service in question is there, but there is no specific permission for this user. So, and if you check in the IS bundle access, there is nothing. And you have to be very careful here because the context of the error can reference a bundle access that is missing. In this case, it is only telling us that the DSM case lib colon cases is missing, which tells me that this could be a permissions issue. So if you go to the support groups, you can see that it, there is in fact access to the support group itself, but there is no access to the IS persona. So to regain that, you have to go to the login tab and you got to go to IS personas. You have to update personas. And here's what you can do uh, to get this in order. You quickly go back to the where the error was. Let's click on the rest call here. And you have to look at the bundle uh, IS uh, error that is coming up, right? Which is case dash lib colon cases. That's the one we have to add. So you go back to the administrator window right here and you look for it. There you go, case-lib, and you add that. In this case, this person is a case agent, just a case agent, and you add it. And remember, this error is only acting for the case 
dash lib cases is persona. But if it were asking for a specific bundle, you have to act in consequence and look for the right bundle. And the same thing applies. You go into the people form, you click on the is bundle access, and you would then add the right bundle. So here on this use case, we have that error, but we're going to ask the user, hey, why don't you log, log out, log back in, or you can try to refresh the window. So we're going to try that. Let's refresh the window and see what happens now. And perfect. The service has been restored for this user. And that will conclude this video for today. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our ITSM and Discovery channel. I'll see you in the next one.